Welcome to Dayless class brought to you by Alondra, Sofia, and Carmen. Today you will be making your very own pool table. For this activity you will need the following materials. Two cardboard, a roll of tape, a marker, two push pins, a piece of string, a pair of scissors, a piece of felt fabric, wooden dowels, popsicle sticks, glue gun, glue stick, two golf balls, and one thick wooden dowel. Begin by taking your two pieces of cardboard. Add a strip of glue to the side of your cardboard and then stick it with the other one to make a bigger piece of cardboard. For some extra reinforcement, get your roll of tape and add a strip to the center. This will make sure that both pieces stay together without moving. Flip your cardboard over and do the same thing on the other side. Up next, you will need two push pins. Place one push pin in one of the pieces of cardboard and then the other one on the other piece of cardboard. Make sure they're about equally spaced, but you don't have to be too perfect about this. Next, you're going to get your piece of string. Wrap the string around the push pins and then leave a little bit of extra space. Almost like if you were about to create a triangle. Make a knot and once your knot is secure, grab your marker. With your marker, you're going to pull the string outwards. You're going to use the string in the marker almost like a compass to create your oval. Make sure that you are happy with the shape and size of your oval because this is what we will be using for your pull table. Once you are done drawing your oval on your cardboard, cut it out with your scissors. Once your oval has been cut out, take your pieces of felt fabric and glue them onto your oval. You will need your scissors again to cut any of the excess of fabric that was left over. For this next part, I will be using chopsticks, wooden dowels, popsicle sticks to create my border around so that way my ball doesn't bounce out. To create my post, I just cut down chopsticks, wooden dowels, and popsicle sticks into small pieces. Make sure they're about the same size and when you place them, they're about equally spaced around. To create the fence, once again, I took popsicle sticks, chopsticks, whatever I had on hand, cut them to size, and then put them all the way around. I made two layers of this, one on the top, one on the bottom, to make sure that the ball did not go out of bounds. Once the fence was done, I took the ball, traced the circle around it, made sure that the circle is big enough for the ball, and then all that is left to do is cut the circle out. Once there's a hole, we're gonna need something to catch the ball in place. So for this, we're gonna use the fabric belt. We're gonna create a little funnel, so once the ball goes into the hole, the funnel can catch the ball. Use your glue gun to glue your funnel together. Use your scissors to cut off any extra excess that you have off the fabric, and then use your glue gun again to glue your funnel to the back of your pool table. Once you are done attaching your funnel to the back of your pool table, flip it over and it's done. That's all there is to it. Use your thick dowel to hit the ball and try to make it into the hole. See how many tries it takes you. It took us a little bit of time if you can tell by the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll answer them. And as always, thank you for watching.